We're back at halftime. John Wills back with you here in Harrisburg. 5-4 in favor of the Harrisburg Heat. Here at halftime, they're having the alumni game. And a lot of Harrisburg Heat alumni from that first group from 1991 to 2003. And then, of course, these last several seasons of the Harrisburg Heat. So you've got the young guys kind of out there against the old guys. And I'll tell you, it's funny because last year I had a hard time identifying a couple of the players as uh, I was watching because hair gets a little thinner, weight gets put on a little bit. There you see keeper Sam Bishop getting a little action. And uh, we've got a Richard Chinapu out there playing, number seven. And Derek Long. And Larry Julius is out there. John Abe. Here's Tyler Whitmer crossing it over to the opposite side. And Chinapu keeping control. Longtime Harrisburg Heat, Baltimore Blast, and Dallas sidekick player Richard Chinapu, former head coach of the Harrisburg Heat. Great to always see him come back. And what a joy he was to work with as uh, my head coach when I took over the ownership of this team for a few seasons just a few years ago. And having Richard Chinapu that first season, which was the second season of the Heat's return. Shots in that first half, 14 by Baltimore, only 11 by the Heat. Out of town scoreboard last we had a 3-1 lead. St. Louis leading, rather Florida leading St. Louis 3-1. to one. We'll try to get an update on that because that is definitely an old score. There's a little move at the other end. Justin Johnson in there in that. Oh, it's now Florida 6, St. Louis 3. And the Dallas sidekicks have already taken a 1-0 lead on the Barracudas. Five four is our score here. I saw Larry. Oh, that was Larry Julius out there. I think it was. Got Derek Long. John Abe. Played for many years there in the Baltimore Bays, too. Tyler Whitmer, who could probably still play right now, number eight there in the blue jersey. And Tyler's just solid. What a great attempt there. And Putting on a little fun exhibition with Justin Johnson. Angelo Panzetta, first captain of the Harrisburg Heat back in the early uh, 91, 92, 93 seasons. See him out there as number five in the yellow. He was a good defender for the Heat back then. Just Steady, hardworking player, hailing out of that uh, Buffalo or Rochester area. I think it was the Buffalo area. Mark Pulisic's out there as well for the Harrisburg Heat, wearing his number eight jersey. See some of the Heat guys on the bench. See Mike Henning there. He's not playing. Gino DeFlorio wearing the 12, talking with Lester Felician. Larry Julius is there with the uh, black hat on next to Jim Pollahan and the Black shirt, those guys not playing. They're serving as honorary coaches. Good evening, everyone, and welcome out for the Heat. Shot wide, and another shot wide. Not sure who that was, that was um, BG or Regis out there. It is amazing how these guys Change their looks, and Justin Johnson in net. John Abe has it, bring that 13. Of course, these guys aren't going for full tilt. Bill Betcher 
over on that far side. They know that they'll hurt themselves if they go full tilt. <laughs> Mark Pulisic, one of the all-time greats in Harrisburg Heat history. Sending it to the far post and a save by Sam Bishop there. Well, we are at halftime. It's a 5-4 Harrisburg Heat lead. And they're going to have a little presentation as well here at halftime for Mike and Patty Butella, the former equipment manager, I should say equipment managers for the Harrisburg Heat. All their years of service from 1991 until a year ago. And we saw a great save down in front by Justin Johnson. And we saw the passing of both of them various times this past year. Here comes Pulisic with it, trying to make the pass. But not going to get a run on it. And remember, Miter is the official ball, the match ball for the Harrisburg Heat and the MASL. The MASL and MITRE share a long-term vision to see arena soccer grow in North America. MITRE's Astro Division ball is the official game ball for the MASL league play and MITRE's uh, Astro Division is designed specifically for play on artificial surfaces. It features a more accurate flight than the average ball and has a 30% reduced bounce to make it play more efficiently in arena soccer. And you can get them here at the merchandise stand at Harrisburg Heat Games. So thank you so much for MITRE for being a great partner with the MASL. Well, the Harrisburg Heat won't be home for a little while as the Heat's next game is going to be on Saturday, February 23rd. And there she is, Christy Rampone, coming into town. Women's U.S. National Team. There will be meet and greet, soccer clinics, photo and autograph sessions, Q&A. So many packages available for kids, teams, clubs, all you women's teams and girls teams out there need to get on this one. Who better to represent U.S. Women's National Team, and Christy Rampone. More information, go to harrisburgheat.com, and the Heat will play the Milwaukee Wave on Saturday, February 23rd. They've had some battles, some great battles over the years with Milwaukee, especially back in the 90s. And uh, looking forward to seeing them coming to town. That's going to do it for the alumni game. These guys are going to go back. They're going to get their oxygen now, and... Uh, some vitamins and try to cool off and probably go right to the trainer's room and stretch out all the muscles they just pulled and playing for the first time and who knows how long. But great seeing a lot of these guys out there, and especially Richard Chinapu. Hey, he'll tell you, he's hey, Chinapu still got it. He stays in shape. And uh, loves competing. The Trinidadian. I'll give one more picture here of all the alumni that came back. Great seeing them all together one more time here in Harrisburg. And hopefully they keep this up year after year. They did it last year. This year they got even more guys to come out and play in this game. It's always great seeing them. If you're uh, a Harrisburg Heat Alumnus, and you're watching, make sure you get a hold of the Heat for next year and get involved. I think John Abe does a lot. He's right there in front of the, uh, right behind the ball at organizing this event. Danny Kelly and David Bascom, former Heat players and coaches hopping in. Larry Julius here next to Danny Kelly and Jim Pollahan, Panzet on the back line. All these guys hopping in. Hopefully I didn't miss mentioning any of them, but great seeing them out there and playing and having them come back. The history of the Harrisburg Heat, so great since 1991 when it was founded and brought in here by Dr. Rex Herbert. Five for the Harrisburg Heat. 
with the halftime lead. You know both teams were making some adjustments for halftime for the second half. Who knows what we're going to see happen. Here's a picture of Heavy Butella wearing the red shirt. Long time equipment manager since the first ever game of the Harrisburg Heat. Battled through some medical issues over the years. There he is on the left side of the picture. Especially when he had hair. That's him in uh, recent years. and He passed away and then uh, shortly thereafter Patty, his wife, who was also always by his side, helping out in the locker room, helping out with field duties and locker room duties. Lost Patty this past year, and of course they've got a little banner add down in the corner panel of the arena here in memory of Heavy and Patty Butella. And they have certainly been instrumental in all the years of Harrisburg Heat Soccer doing the late night dirty job a lot of folks don't want to do, doing the laundry, loading up the coolers, and goo, glue gunning, ripped up sneakers for these guys, and sewing things and putting numbers on, taking care of all the sometimes thankless duties that equipment managers do. And those of you who are watching from around the league and equipment managers, you know what I'm talking about. Many times overlooked, but not certainly forgotten. You are not forgotten, and you are certainly appreciated for all you do for the teams of the MASL, and Heavy and Patty will certainly be remembered here in Harrisburg. Spent many a Bus rides and plane rides with Heavy over the years. He and I and head coach Jim Pollahan had many a dinners together. Many times during the season, we'd see each other more than we saw our wives.